good afternoon everyone uh, i am doipayan roy uh, from indian institute of science education and research and uh, this is a joint work with uh, gases with particularly with jelco and philip uh, the work is how uh, retrievable items are from different categories if we consider an integrated search system so the first question obviously is what is retrievability so it is basically the concept of measuring how frequently a document will be retrieved by any of the queries during its lifetime so mathematically it looks like this it's not that much complicated to see but still uh, roughly that it translates to how uh, frequently it will be a document will be retrieved within a top rank by any of the queries that will be submitted to a system so again retrievability of a document is how frequently it can answer some queries that will be submitted to a system uh, the work was proposed in ci came 2008 and uh, basically the way it was presented uh, actually highlights a disparity among the retrievability of the different documents in the whole corpus so of course some document will be rich with content that is for a large set of queries it will be able to answer the, qu the question the query the information need and as a result it will be having a higher retrievability score uh, this can be actually uh, kind of uh, will give rise to the disparity or imbalance between the retrievability of different documents in the collection. Some document will be rich, answer a, can actually answer a large number of queries, and some document will be not that much rich, will be able to answer a short number of queries. And this can be uh, uh, kind, kind of uh, anonymous to the unequ unequality of dis uh, distribution of incomes in any social system. For example, uh, if we consider the inequality in income or inequality in wealth of the population in Germany, we can see that there is a the, more than 60% of the total wealth is actually uh, owned by the top 10% uh, uh, population of Germany. So, in com in contrast to this retrievability of document, we can consider that the rich document will be addressed by rich document can address a large number of queries as compared to the not that much rich or poor documents which are never retrieved by any query submitted to a system so of course uh, uh, i mean this is just the concept how to measure it with some number so there are two ways one is using gini coefficient uh, gini coefficient for a given population is computed using uh, again a mathematical formula like this i'm not going into the details but just to highlight here we are here we are uh, kind of computing the disparity or imbalance of the values in v here in a population p so always a gini coefficient of a population will be lying between 0 and 1 and uh, it will be basically uh, proportional to the inequality inherent in the population so much more the inequality higher the uh, gini coefficient to the to the value one and uh, uh, if we consider a total equality that is everyone in the popul in the population having the same amount of wealth the gini coefficient we will be getting is basically zero in case of document retrievability all the documents will be in that case when uh, the gini coefficient will be zero in that case all the documents are equally retrievable for all the queries submitted to the system the other extreme cases when gp equals to one or gini coefficient of a population is one in that case it signifies that only one item is retrievable that is one item or one person is taking or owning the total wealth of the total population so the same thing here uh, is graphically presented here uh, as a lorentz curve where this straight line is the equality where all the population are having the same amount of wealth which will be uh, basically plotted by the straight line usually will be we observe uh, an inequality line like, like this 
how much we are closer to this straight line we will be saying that we are that much uh, closer to being equal throughout the uh, throughout the population now in the literature the works that have been done after the sikkim 2008 paper uh, the findings and the setup that if, that they follow are basically all the works focused on collection with single type of query particularly uh, most of the works were considered uh, documents or collections with text document with either web collection or web pages or news collection or news articles. Uh, and uh, the finding of those works are basically more than half of the documents are rarely retrievable. That is, they were never retrieved most of the time. And uh, the observation is also uh, true across different retrieval models. Although here, this is taken from the actual paper of Sikkim 2008. So this is the straight line, that is the equality line. Uh, most of the good retrieval models, I'm not talking about the basic TF-IDF model, but BM25 language model or DFR, all the retrieval models will be giving more or less same kind of a Lorentz curve here that has been observed. Uh, the experimental limitation of those works were basically, uh, I mean, to compute the retrievability of a document, in a collection, we need to have a set of all possible queries that can be submitted to the system. And the most popular approach among the researchers is to generate a set of queries randomly using some sampling strategy. And uh, as a result, they will be most of the time, they are actually impractical and they does not actually indicate any particular information need. So here, the research question that I want to, that this work wanted to uh, uh, answer was, is there any bias in accessibility of documents from a particular type in an integrated search system? Second is, uh, can we formalize this type accessibility bias using the, using the concept of retrievability that is particularly using this Lorentz curve and Gini coefficient? And finally, how diverse is the retrievability score across the different types? So first of all, again, one question you might be having in your mind is what is this integrated search system? So an integrated search system is basically a system that searches multiple sources and integrates the results together in a unified way. Uh, the particular integrated search system that we have used in our work contains more than 800,000 uh, indexed items. Uh, up from six different categories. We particularly focused on two categories, that is research data or data sets and publication. Uh, they are containing around uh, 64K and uh, more than 110K number of items in the respective categories. Now, together with these items, one another very useful information is stored in this integrated search system. That is the interaction with the user. This is a live system uh, where mostly uh, uh, items from social network, uh, social science uh, domain were stored, that is social science domain research data, as well as uh, publication together with variables and so on and so forth are stored. And as it is a live system, the interaction with the, system, with the user to the system is also logged by the system. Particularly, we used the submitted queries by the live users more than 1 million uh, queries were there, uh, which is basically a realistic uh, queries that we can use for computing the retrievability. Along with that, we have some export interaction indication as well, which we can use as, a, as an implicit feedback uh, signal towards whether a document is, whether an item is relevant or not. So using these two particular, uh, uh, I mean, uh, these two aspects of this, uh, integrated search system we will be developing or we will be studying the rest of the work. So this is basically you can see this is a retrievability score computation formula. So there is only one parameter here which is C which is basically within which rank we want to compute the retrievability of a document. That is the only parameter. So first of all we varied the parameter from 10 to 100 at a step of 10. And we computed the, uh, the distribution of the publication data set and the data set in terms of the retrievability score that we are getting. And uh, graphically, it can be shown here 
you can see this is the mean this is the uh, variance and this is the standard deviation so we can see from uh, rank uh, uh, c, c value 10 to 100 there is a more than 700 percent in case of publication increase for data set it is more than 500 almost 600 percent increase mean variance and standard deviation always we can see the date for data set it is larger than publication that's why the blue line is always under the uh, brown line and for geometric mean we can see it is uh, higher for publication uh, as opposed to the other uh, other uh, metrics so what is the reason behind this so we can understand that some data sets are very popular data set more popularly used or retrieved by the user or searched by the user that is actually contributing to this high mean there are also certain data sets which are rarely used that's why they are actually contributing to, to this low uh, geometric mean and uh, this higher value of this variance between this data set having some having very rare uh, retrievability some having very high retrievability is actually contributing to this diverse uh, retrievability scores and this is basically given as Gini coefficient again you can see the Gini coefficient is falling much rapidly for publication that is more than 90 percent fall from cut, uh, rank cut of 10 to 100 in case of uh, data set it is 10 percent this is the same thing presented here with Lorentz curve and uh, the observation is retrievability of data set more imbalance than publication. And the next thing, the next aspect we have used is basically using the interaction, interaction uh, of the user with the system. What we, how we have used that as a signal, uh, as an implicit signal to get the relevance. So what is the usefulness first of all? So if a document is retrieved, that does not mean that it is useful to the user. We need to have some indication that the uh, document is actually useful to the user if the document is consumed by the user. So we can say a document is useful only when the document is retrieved as well as consumed or read or somehow downloaded or something like that. So this can only be uh, uh, realized by the relevance judgment or implicit relevance signal which we have as a, as a part of the relevance, uh, as part of the interaction context stored in the integrated search system. So uh, we defined the usefulness of a document following a similar formula like the retrievability. I'm not actually going into the details. So here it is the usefulness of the document D. Here, this is the how important the query is. The summation is computed over all the documents submitted to the entire submitted to the integrated search system and gdq is basically how useful the document is actually the indication of how useful and retrievable the document is for the query q now this gdq can be a simple indication of how relevant or whether the document is relevant or not it can also as it, it should be retrieved then in then only it can be consumed so we also incorporated the rank of the document at which it has been retrieved by some retrieval system for a query Q. So we computed the same thing for retrieval uh, for usefulness here. The Gini coefficient change you can see it's a huge change. So so basically Gini coefficient if we uh, plot the change from uh, usefulness from zero to one we have uh, uh, normalized it. So you can see more much more number of documents from publication category are much more useful or it is much near to the uh, perfect balancing scenario as compared to the data set again it is it can be i mean uh, concluded from the fact that some data sets are very rarely used and some document some data sets are very frequently used and uh, it's more more distributed for publication than the data sets and uh, of course some data sets are more popular so as, a, as an answer to the research question, for the first research question, we have seen a significant popularity bias among categories, publication and data set. For the second uh, research question, we have seen that uh, this using this uh, concept of retrievability, particularly Lorentz curve and Gini coefficient, we can kind of formalize this uh, type accessibility bias. And for as an answer to the third or last uh, research question, we have seen that uh, for, di uh, for data set, the, the distribution of retrievability score is much more diverse than the publication. 
And as a contribution, final concluding remark. So we utilize the retrievability measure to better understand the diversity of accessing data sets in comparison to publication. And it is unlike the other works, it has been conducted on real life query search logs. And we propose this uh, concept of usefulness in uh, addition to this observation. Thank you so much. Uh, any question? Thank you very much. <laughs>